Sean Uarts here and today I'm going to show you my new cardboard arcade game which is a key master. A lot of you have actually requested me to make this arcade game so I hope you like it. It doesn't really function like the normal key master which has that push button because I made my own version of the key master game because I don't have any syringes to make up that mechanism but it still works great though just like other key master games so I'm going to show you how it functions later because for now I'm going to show you the 360 degree view of this machine so here it is that's the right side of the machine you have here the back I didn't really color it or put some design so yeah here's the left side of the machine and here's the front obviously so this cardboard game I made only has three controllers. We have here two knobs for this thing to go left and right. And then we have this crank for the key to move up and down. So basically to win this game, you just have to aim this black thing right here to these holes, to these spaces. You also have a space right here and then in there, you can see it. So you just have to aim this black key there just like that you turn these knobs and then if you're satisfied with that you, you can now turn the crank and then just move it up so then boom you get your prize so your prize falls down to there and then it goes here in the prize chute so for our first prize I got here a cupcake squishy if you haven't known yet, I made this squishy with just a DIY puffy paint and it works really great. So yeah, here's our first prize. Now let's play our key master game again. I'll try to get that cookie squishy. The one right there, I'll try to get that cookie squishy. And then after that, I'll try to get that snail squishy as well. So again, you'll just have to turn these knobs to move the key left and right. And then you're going to crank this up, then there, then move the knobs again to place until we get that certain aim. Okay, so I think that's a perfect aim. So I'm going to turn the crank so that we can get it. So we have here our squishy cupcake. I'm gonna put it here and now I'm going to get that squishy snail as promised turning the knob placing it there yep that's perfect perfect so yes we have one our squail nishi I mean our snail squishy here it is okay I'm just gonna put it in the side okay so for our last prize the biggest one I'll try to get that mice I mean that mouse I'll try to get that mouse it's the biggest one in this arcade game so just the same procedures just turning it just turning the knobs and then get a bit and then there. So for our last toy, we have here a a mouse squishy. It's very slow rising, as you can see. Look at that, so slow rising. Okay, so. That was it. That's how you play this game. It's very simple and it's very easy to win. So now I'm going to show you how how this works. I mean, the mechanism behind all of these knobs and this crank. So basically this thing right here, which holds that key, is tied up, tied up to this crank. You can see, and when you turn this, goes up and then when you turn it counterclockwise moves down so it 
it's really simple as that. It's really simple as that. So basically how this thing moves sideways is that it's connected, it's tied to two rolls. You can see right there, it's tied to two rolls. So when you turn this, it's gonna drag this thing to this side. Here, let me show you a much clearer view of how this moves sideways. So again, when you turn the other knob, it's gonna go that way. And when you turn this and you loosen the other knob, you loosen the other knob and then you turn this, it's gonna go the other way. Really simple. Again, you loosen this and then you turn the other knob for it to go sideways. Pretty easy. So that's it guys, this is my Key Master Machine, I hope you liked it. And if you do, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up, hit subscribe button if you still haven't, and also ring that bell to get notified in my future uploads. It was pretty easy to make this machine, so I hope you can follow through the mechanism which I showed you earlier because unfortunately I wasn't able to film the process in making this game. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, bye!